Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Killot404 and you're watching another episode of the Call of Duty Community Choice. This time you guys are watching some Modern Warfare 3. And yes, of course, every time I show Modern Warfare 3, I have to show a Moab gameplay. This is a Moab gameplay on our Cotton uh, with the MP5 Silence. And actually this gameplay is has gone, I, I got it recently, I'm trying to say. I got it recently. This is not some stock gameplay. I actually went back and popped Modern Warfare 3 on my Wii U. I went online and I got like five Moab or something like that so I'm really stacked with Moab gameplays uh, let me know you want to see some more Moab gameplays I mean gameplays for me aren't that hard to get I always have a surplus of gameplays just in case I have to do work or something like that I have to go to school and I have to spend a lot of time away from YouTube I always have some spare gameplays so if you want to see some more Modern Warfare 3 Moabs I know back in the day that's something that I really did a lot on my YouTube channel so you, again all you got to do is tell me you want to see something I'll do it for you so uh, that's pretty much it for Modern Warfare 3 for the introduction, but before I get into the actual meat of the commentary, I just want to remind you guys again, it's going to be a choice for the next uh, community choice. It's going to be a choice between Black Ops 2 and COD 4. Surprisingly, you guys haven't even wanted to watch Black Ops 2, and that's surprising to me because Black Ops 2 is the most recent Call of Duty. I would think you guys want to watch the most recent Call of Duty, but I guess you're so bored of Black Ops 2, or you're so bored of watching Black Ops 2, maybe you're just excited for Ghost, and you can't wait to watch some Ghost gameplay on my channel or something like that. So, you know, who knows? Of course, I'm going to be getting uh, Ghost on the Wii U. I might even get it on the PC as well. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, during November time, that's a time where I'm going to be definitely trying to prove my worth here on YouTube. Trying to make great entertaining videos for Call of Duty Ghosts. And so I hope you guys enjoy that sort of stuff that I'm going to be coming out with during that time. Um, so again, you know, I, I go on a tangent like I always do. I just make sure to vote between Black Ops 2 and COD 4 for the next video. Uh, now going to Modern Warfare 3, it's a very simple commentary. I mean, what other thing should I talk about than Modern Warfare 3? The most, uh, the biggest memorable thing, the biggest memory in Modern Warfare 3 for me when I played it on the Wii, we're getting the Moabs. The Moabs are the MOAB kill streak, the kill streak that was a 25 kill streak or 25 gun streak. Uh, it, it was such a special thing for me. I don't know why, because uh, they were just so fun to get. It really enhanced the gameplay, in my opinion. It's like an accomplishment to go for. I know when you played the game for a long time, you're already max level, you got all the guns, max prestige, and things like that, and you're pretty much done with the game and there's nothing else you can do. A Moab is always there. It's always like an accomplishment that you can go for. That's really fun, right? And it's really challenging as well, and that's why I I think a lot of people like to go for them and that's why a lot of people also like to watch them because they're really exciting to watch see someone just tear up the gameplay and get 25 kills in a row uh, when I was getting the Moabs, I just felt this really big like rush and excitement when I got to the 20-21 killstreak range because I'm like, oh, I'm just almost there. I just need like three or four more kills and when you get it, you feel like a million bucks. Honestly, it's the best feeling in the world. I never told anybody this, but when I got my first Moab with the M4 assault rifle, I like literally yelled out of my dorm. I was screaming and, and people were, were like, say, hey, is something wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you, so, why are you screaming so loud and things like that? I was like... I'm sorry guys, I was just so excited that I got my first Moab and it just felt like a really honest, like honest to God accomplishment. You feel so good and you feel even better as a YouTuber because you get the opportunity to show everybody your accomplishment and talk about the gameplay. It becomes almost like a standard, you know what I mean, like a gameplay standard. If you got a Moab, you're free to show it to people and you kind of have some assurance that they're going to enjoy it and it's going to become a good video in the end. So those are the reasons why I like the Moab, I miss the Moab, I actually miss the Moab a lot in Black Ops. Too. The nuclear is cool, but again, we love that Moab effect. We love the screen gets all red, the big drastic gameplay changes that happen in the game. You kill the entire team. It's almost like humiliation uh, because you got the Moab and somebody. You know what I mean? It's like a really big humiliation event sort of thing in the game. So I hope that sort of thing comes back in Call of Duty Ghosts. I think, you know, Infinity Ward is pretty smart about this. I'm sure that they're going to bring something back like the MOAB, a 25 or 30 kill streak. And it's just something to go for. You know what I mean? It's just something to go for in the game. It's challenging. And a lot of people want to see pe uh, people getting teared apart. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to see some beast gameplays. And if that's something that people want to see, then that's something that I have to show on my YouTube channel. So if Ghost, if they have a Moab in that game, you better be darn sure that I'm going to be showing a lot of MOAB gameplays on my YouTube channel 
and I might even pick up Black Ops 2 once again and try to practice on that game, maybe just to try to sharpen my skills once again. Uh, so when Ghost comes out in November and it rolls around the corner, I can be fresh in that game and I can start uh, getting the gameplays, all the good gameplays that I need to get right off the bat. So that's pretty much it. Again, Modern Warfare 3, great game in terms of Moab gameplays. I love the Moab a lot and hopefully that returns back in Call of Duty Ghosts. Other than that, that is a commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.